Okay, to use the walk canvassing module, we first start by selecting a target of voters, and we can select uh, a target size as big as our district. So I'm going to skip this first page and make a target for our whole entire district. In this case, the sample is going to be for a primary election, so I'm going to say any voter that voted in at least one of the last two primary elections. I'm going to kick out our don't mail group. And on the output page, we now have a new option called add to walk target list. So I'm going to select that option. I'm going to tell it I want to create a new list. Otherwise, I could add it to one of our existing lists. And I'm going to say one report that's going to add those voters to a a walk target and give it a generic name of the date and time but I'm going to change that to primary Republican walk. The description can just be a description of the target or you could put in um, say a script that you want callers or walkers to recite. The next options are for printed walk packets so you can now set these options on a uh, per walk target basis. Um, if you want to add additional fields to collect or any other info you want to print for the um, for each voter, if you're using the barcode per voter option, or for each house if you're using the barcode per house option, uh, it will print this extra information on the walk target. Now the next section allows us to specify the groups that we want to collect in the app. Now you will be able to select any group even if you don't select it here. Um, the app users can still get to the all of the groups to add them to any group they want, but this is the um, the primary groups that will show on the main page as they're doing the walk and you will see the details of that in the app demonstration. Uh, you can change the order of these groups, how they appear in the app, by just specifying the new number there, or to remove one, just put a zero in and click Save. So once we have all the options set, we click Save. Now we can go back to our list of walk targets, if I click that, and now you can see all the different walk targets we've got. So here's the new one. It shows we have a total of 11,000 voters here. The a little simple bar graph here indicates the progress of our target. So in this case it's all red meaning that the we have not processed any of these uh, voters. Uh, you can see that in the new column here. So red indicates new. The next column is assigned and that indicates the houses have been assigned into packets. So even if you're just using the app to do your walk if you're going to have multiple walkers, you're still going to want to assign these houses into packets because if you don't, people are not going to know, um, you know which houses to walk without overlapping um, and it's going to be very unorganized. So you still want to go in and uh, separate your target into packets and it will keep track of, of that using the color system that it has before. Um, that way when you go to do your walks using the apps, people will know I'm only going to walk the green houses, somebody else is going to do the blue ones, etc. The last column for complete indicates the houses that have actually been walked um, and that you know have have been completed. So this first sample list here we can see um, we're working through it but we still got a ways to go because only a small segment has been completed. Um, in our new walk here if I click map it's going to show us the uh, target of all the voters and we now use this clustering system where when you're zoomed out it will group the uh, markers together into clusters and as you zoom in once you get close enough whoops wrong way you can now see each individual house And then you, as you go to create your packets, you can click this um, street view, which highlights all the streets that uh, are accessible to the Google uh, street view cars. And so the ones that aren't highlighted 
uh, it's possible that those are gated communities.